Hi, and welcome to another 5-minute tip. This tip is going to be really quick, really simple, hopefully really easy. Um, I saw someone on my YouTube channel asking about the ability to convert the points of an object into a spline. This was in reference to the 5-minute tip I have where I show you how to project points of a spline onto the surface of an object. But what we're going to be doing here is kind of the opposite of that. We're going to extract a spline from the points of an object. So the previous tip was used on a landscape. And this tip is going to be a little bit more useful on sort of an organic shape like this. The idea being that maybe you don't really need to extract the points from an object if it's a hard surfaced angular object. You can just put a spline and do the math and sort of just lay it where it needs to be. So let's start off by looking at point mode and selecting the object and kind of seeing what we have. We have a few points. Um, I just created sort of an abstract organic object. And what I want to do is select some points coming down the edge here, down this sort of piece that juts out. And I'm going to select all the way down to the bottom edge right there. Now, there is a command. Um, I believe it's called Edge to Spline. It's under the Mesh menu under Commands. So we can just tear that off. We can look at it. Edge to Spline is currently grayed out, however, because it needs to work on edges. So if you start off with points, one thing you could do is you could just go to edge mode and start selecting the edges or if you're in point mode you can hold the control key uh, it might be the command key on the Mac I'm not sure but you hold the control key and click and it converts those points to an edge you can do the reverse you can go between points and edges which is quite nice and if you had a bunch of edges like this selected you could even go from edges to polygons that works as well so either way, we can go points to edges, and then with the edges selected, it's really simple. You just click Edge to Spline. We'll notice over here in the Object Manager that there's now a child of my shape that is in fact a spline. And if we select all the points, we can see that it is just a spline object. So what we can do now is create a sweep nerbs, you can place the spline in it and then create a profile, sort of like about an end side. And we'd need to scale that down. And now we have essentially a spline running right along the points of this object. I'm going to give it a purple color just so we can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to turn off Use Edge Breaks and turn off angle limit so it smooths it a little bit. Now once you have this there's a couple of things that are important to note. The spline that it created for us, I'm just going to turn everything else off, is a linear spline. So when you select the points they're just straight lines and if you look down here the type is linear and there are no intermediate points. So if we turn our sweep back on we can see that if we change the intermediate points to adaptive, nothing happens. But if we were to change it from linear to cubic or akima, B spline, you get the idea. We can sort of change how it hugs the surface. I find that akima or cubic usually work best for me, unless you have a tight area like this where it doesn't quite work. In that case, you might just want to use linear and then manually adjust things as needed. So this was a really quick tip. Um, it's a really basic tool. I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of you guys knew about it already. But I saw someone asking about it and I thought to myself, you know what? I'm sure I could fit that in about five minutes explaining how to do that. So I hope you enjoyed this one. And until next time, see ya.